Another great day on our search for Michigan's best Bloody Mary. It took us all the way across the state to Saginaw and the Bay City region. We got to visit some incredible places. We started off at the Bayport Inn, which is right on the water. A great historical place. You can get a room as well as a huge Bloody Mary with all sorts of stuff on it. Then we headed to the Bell Bar in Bay City. Love those guys there. It's a long-standing bar. Uh, super classic, a very traditional uh, Bloody Mary there. Um, none of the fancy stuff on that one because you're not there to eat, you're there to drink. <laughs> then we went to Bay City Bills, where I have to say it was probably uh, the most interesting characters we've met on the trip. We had so much fun with them. We even had some groupies follow us along there. Um, we had great wings a really solid drink in a very classic spot in Bay City. Uh, from there, we went over to Merle's Tavern. His drink was yeah. fantastic. I love the way it tasted. He also made me the Merlixer, which was an incredible punch. That was that was pretty yummy. From there, we went to Max, uh, and that place was the pool winner in Saginaw. A classic cocktail bar. They're making um, some really special artisan cocktails. Um, their Bloody Mary was actually, I think, the only one that we've come across that was vegan. There was no Worcestershire in it, so that was kind of interesting. We just finished the night here at the Sanford Lake Inn. These guys are great. It's the owner's birthday tonight, so she let us celebrate with her. Not only did we get to have a great Bloody Mary made by her husband and co-owner Dick, we also had chicken and waffles, a great way to end the night. Tomorrow we'll be heading, or not tomorrow, tomorrow we have the day off because I have to teach a cooking class in Grand Rapids. And then on Friday we'll be heading up north and hitting up Howard City, Traverse City, Harbor Springs, a couple other places. And then on Saturday you can join us as we visit the UP.